everybody and welcome to our one jump challenge. Today we have a big container of different exercises that you can do with one jump and agility. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull different exercises out of the bucket. So we'll let Tim go first and see what we're gonna play around with first. All right. Oh boy, which one do we got? Around the world. Okay, so we're gonna go get some young dogs and we're going to play around the world. The purpose of the around the world exercise is to show the dog multiple different angles to the jump. So make sure that you set your dog up around the world of the jump and this was going to give them different opportunities to see the jump in different ways. The lead out push can be difficult for many dogs because you are pushing into their line over the bar. Slices are a really good skill to practice with your dogs because you're going to see them in all kinds of different courses. You will even see them on a serpentine. Teaching your dog to be able to jump into you is also very helpful. It's really helpful on serpentines as well as long lines that you need to get ahead of. The dog needs to be able to collect enough that they don't run into you and they can get reinforced at your heel. Now you're All right, no peeking. You got, got two. two. Uh. Oh, that's a hard one. Half <laughs> turn. Do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Laugh turn. Laugh turn. <laughs> Today was Tim and Perk's first time working on lap turns, so they had to work through a few kinks. This is a difficult exercise for a dog that is very obstacle focused. It requires a fair amount of recall to hand and handler focus, but once Perk understood what she was doing, she grasped onto the concept quite quickly. Lead outs, everybody's favorite, as Tim would say. What I'm working with Neon is lead outs with motion, lead outs without motion, lead outs with reinforcement in position, in release, as well as behind. You can see that he is able to stay in position while I move up and past him with motion, as well as he's able to stay in position when I release him and send him backwards to his tour. This is a good exercise to work with all dogs because not having a lead out can be very difficult to get past.
Thanks for taking the time to watch our video. Remember, I'm just a dog girl and happy dogs are a must.